Hey everyone and welcome back to Serena's Toy Room. Today I'm going to be doing a review on Monster High Ballerina Ghoul's Jackie Laura. I got her yesterday for my birthday if you saw my birthday haul. I'm quite excited to open them up and see what they're like because I haven't seen these ones in stores because they don't sell Monster High dolls at Walmart anymore unfortunately. The packaging is just um, clear plastic on a card. Background is black and purple. kind of looks like a stage. And it's black and yellow. And it says Monster Hide on the side. There's her artwork, Jackie Laura, and some ballet slippers. I do kind of like the art for the newer Monster High dolls. I just wish the dolls themselves look more like the art. Six plus. The back is pretty simple. So there's Jackie Laura in her full image. Monster High, Jackie Laura, daughter of Dracula, ballerina ghouls. And there's Cleo and Monica. So let's open up Jackie Laura and give her a closer look. Here's Jackie Laura. She's quite cute, actually, but I do have some cons that I will talk about in a little bit. Her hair is black and has some faint pink streaks. They're not as vibrant as usual. It's curled bangs, and her hair is up in a high side ponytail. There's a little tack in the back of her head that I just noticed, which I will take out later. I'm pretty sure her hair is nylon, unfortunately. It feels very low quality. It's soft up here, but down here on the end, it feels very dry. So that's kind of unfortunate. I think she has nylon, so that's kind of sad. But whatever. It's not that bad, I guess. She does not have any earrings, but she does have the new face, obviously. Um, she's wearing makeup, which is nice, of course, because she is doing a show and ballerinas tend to wear makeup because it's a recital and stuff and you have to look fancy. So she has very faint pink on the crease and she has blue on the lower lash line and some purplish pink deep lips. Very cool. And her dress, the top part, black bats on a pink and blue striped bodice. The skirt, the overlay is pink with some black spiderwebs and some blue ribbons with two mesh layers in pink and black. She has these little black frills on her wrists that are in black cobwebs and they are removable. Little pink roses that she got at the end of the show that have little hearts and with bat wings, very Jackie Laura, and they're all pink. She also has this black little frilly necklace, this pink belt with a heart and bat wings. And she also has this pink tiara, which is quite nice, and there's little hearts and bat wings and such on it. And her ballerina shoes are pink and they have like a high platform on them, which is pretty cool. And they have little like pointed hearts on them. I don't know if you can really tell. And there's little bat wings on the back and some plastic leg warmers that are separate. And she has pearlized legs, so not real leggings. So that's Jackie Laura. And my downfalls about her um, is that she doesn't have the removable limbs anymore that Monster High Dolls used to always have which is unfortunate because that's kind of what made Monster High. It's not just that reason alone, but that was partially the reason why they were so special because of course like Monster High dolls had these like tiny little sleeves and it was hard to get over their like bigger fingers. So removing the hands and arms would make it a lot easier. And to me, like removing the removable limbs on Monster High dolls, it's like removing the like peg legs on Bratz dolls. It was like one of the like main focus details on Monster High dolls. And um, the fact they got rid of that is kind of unfortunate, but I guess it just like costs less to do so. And I guess one thing I could think of that would be a pro to this is you don't have to worry about losing the limbs anymore, but I always keep the limbs in my dolls anyway, so that wasn't a big deal to begin with. But for children, I guess that's kind of a good thing that it's more sturdy and stuff. The hair quality is also an issue too. Because it's so like big and voluminous, I could imagine this getting very messy very quickly with a younger child. So just keep that in mind. But besides those little cons, I do think she's pretty decent. I think she's quite nice for a reboot doll. I do like her outfit. Dracula always has some fantastic outfits to me and I just love her so much. And um, I think she'll make a, quite an interesting addition to my Monster High collection. I don't really plan on collecting reboot dolls now, but the ones I have from my birthday, I do quite like. So until next time, comment, rate, subscribe, tell me what you guys think of her in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!